Hi, it's Heather with another installment of Already Reviews, and I'm still at the same client's house, and it's getting late. But I'm getting to the end of it, and I forgot I got this product. This is fucking fantastic. I was a little surprised to look it up and see what I spent on it. I bought this in June. It's called the Brush Rubber Heavy Duty Steel Stump Puller. So, got it on, got it on Amazon for. $108. I must have been on a spending spree and not paying attention. So don't stick your fingers in there. It spreads open. It grabs the stump. And the thing is, the harder you pull it, the tighter it grabs the stump. This one's for heavy duty. I've used this a few times. It doesn't always work on smaller stuff because it's got to get a really good grip on it. Um, I have a weed tree. It's literally a weed that has gotten cut down so many times instead of being removed that it is now a tree. So I can't topsoil. Let me put that down. This, where is it? Can you see it? I cut the leaves off of it so I can get to the roots. Look at this. I cut this one off. I dug out this many rocks. I got all the rocks out of the dirt. And I'm going to tell you right now, the client's here. She's like one of the only two two only clients that I actually let them know I have this channel because of my potty mouth and the horrible things I say. And she's really cool. So she knows I'm making a video. And if she comes back out, she said she'd be my camera person. So maybe I'll get like a decent video this time. She's, she's really cool. She let me drive her Jeep through her brand new gate into the yard. So when I do the stump pulling, I hook a tow chain. This, by the way, is a great tow chain. This came from Home Depot. This is a badass tow chain. Came in a plastic storage bag. It is 12 feet. It comes with this clip. And then it comes with the open-ended. Where did I put that? This one. It's a lock around your chain. And I think it was... I want to say it was... 30 or 40 dollars maybe it was but i originally bought these at tractor supply they had the chain on sale by the foot and then you have to buy the clip and all the accessories separately i worked out it was like 115 dollars when i saw the one in home depot i bought it and returned the one to tractor supply so if you ever need a really heavy duty tow chain go to home depot so let me get this set up and show you how it works now normally I have no problem just digging out a root ball from a tree and wrapping the tow chain all around the root ball and just using that to yank it, uh, a tree stump out. It's a root ball if I can. But now that I have this and I've used it a few times, it's so awesome. I'm like, why? It's less digging. I definitely still prep it. I want to make sure that I have some of the roots dug out. I don't want to yank and not have it work because then I'm going to get angry. So let me turn it. There we go. I've got my tow chain is already on my my hitches. I'm going to put this on first. And if it doesn't work the first time, sometimes it just needs a better grip. So I did dig quite a bit. You want to attach it right to the trunk because those teeth are fucking sharp. You don't want to stick your fingers in there because once it closes, the more you pull on it, the tighter it gets. It's like Adam's family shit. And I don't know if this is a good spot or not. I'm still getting used to it and learning, but I'm going to give it a whirl. It looks good. We'll see. And I don't need a lot of length and torque, so I'm keeping it short. I'm going to leave this running so I can turn the Jeep on and see what happens. I have the bench up on rocks. I'm hoping that I don't affect it because it was too heavy to move.
pulled the whole thing out. Let me detach it. And, and my client said she doesn't want to be a camera person as long as I don't put her on video. I wouldn't ever put a client on video. I don't even tell clients to have a channel. But look at this. Gone. And can I show them your patio? I put a patio in like a month and a half ago. So that way you don't think I just do fucking weeding all day long. I did the pergola and the patio. Hand dug. And then that is a field stone. I mean, you can't see much of it because she has it covered with furniture and a rug. I'm starting to think maybe she thinks it's ugly. Don't even go there. I love it. I want to keep it beautiful. That's the problem. Is it, was it 11 by 13? Ten by twelve? Eleven by eleven by Yeah, the the because the gazebo is ten by twelve, I made it bigger. Okay, so anyway, that is from Amazon. It is the grub grub puller heavy duty steel stump puller. It says tractor on it. I just use it on my Jeep with the tow chain. One hundred and eight dollars. Oh nice yeah. Amazon.com. Forgot. There's like an oak or a maple tree over here that I definitely have to get. Is it? It doesn't seem like it's that big, but look at the size. When it's been cut so many times. It's like a miniature tree trunk. I'm gonna try this one without digging it all out. We'll see how it works. Wish me luck on this one. All right, let's see. Fish came out of the ground. That thing snapped me so hard in the arm. Ooh. Oh, let me get this out. Alright, that's it. It's getting late. I'm behind schedule and I'm calling it a night. I don't know what time it is. 23. Yeah, that's why the sun's going down. This comes in different sizes, I forgot to mention earlier. I don't, the, when I went back to look at it, it doesn't show any different sizes from that seller. But this is like the medium, I think. I don't think it's that large. I'm making them different sizes. Um, questions or comments, feel free to leave them. If you want to hit like or subscribe, I would love that. Have a great night.